What's up, everyone? Papi's back. It's almost Christmas. Wow, can you believe that? It's like this year went really fast. So crazy. Um, today, I have a very special thing to share, and I'm gonna share three secrets to make your track better. And I'm going to show you guys one of the track that I wrote. Uh, about three years ago this one right here very cringy but I actually did the top line and lyrics and everything like this thing 100% belongs to me um, yeah um, but before I move on I have a very very interesting announcement we're so blessed but basically in Umzig music we have an a and a that just started to work for us. So right now, Umzig Music, the global uh, community of aspiring K-pop producers, now we have somebody who's going to always listen to the songs that are being written from our community. And with those songs, if the songs are good, we're basically going to be pitching our songs to the record labels and in Korea. And we're always going to be monitoring them and we're giving you guys song challenges every single month and master classes every month and uh, collaboration opportunities or whatnot. We're gonna have some really amazing stuff. So if you wanna join our community, uh, the registration is going to be open for a limited amount of time from January of 2023. So yeah, I really hope to see you there. We're especially looking for talented producers um, who can possibly join our team um, music producers so yeah if you're out there like wherever you are in this world and you are writing tracks you are making songs you're if you're a top liner and you um, you want to you want to grow into a next level or join our team please join this community because we have some amazing uh, program and also uh, talented talented fellow producers um yes too much talking let's get to the song so guys so we're gonna look at this number one of how to make your track sound better so i'm gonna take a look show you guys from here this is the chorus by the way very cringy because I sang it and stuff but uh but yeah this song made a placement like only like a month after I wrote the song so there was a lot of buzz uh from the publishers from the writers um from the a and R's. so it's something about this made it work and I want to share some of the secrets for that number one secret layer your sound and make that sound really good that is very important my main synth sound if you see here it sounds like this no, no this is not my main where's my main oh yeah this one so this one is my main Not a bad sound, but it's a little, you know, it's boring. You don't want that. So I'm, I'm layering with more punch. The second, uh, the second patch added a little more punch to it, right? Ooh, you hear that? That punch it has more attack. What about the third one? Ooh, like a sharp, attacking, plucky sound that's been added to this. Yeah. Next one. It's like a bell sound. Ooh, but ambient. So it creates this interesting, flowery effect. Prettier, right? And this is a string 
Oh, but the string is... Why is this not coming out? Oh, it's there. We gotta make it louder. So... So when you have this sound, it just makes it... Uh, I think it... Yeah. Yeah. So with this string, now we're adding like originality. We're ex adding like that expensive like string sound. There's something so organic about adding like real instruments, right? And then... Uh, kind of like a modern uh, saw kind of synth in the back to create something more uh, sparky and a little more uh, trendy sounding. So all together, it became this. Uh, and it used to be just that. You see how crazy big different that is? So listen to this. It, let's see. Let's say we had this whole thing. We just like this. So one song, one sound doesn't cut it. It doesn't feel the whole uh, atmosphere, right? But if I'm adding all of this, yeah, much bigger. Yeah, so let your main sound really stand out. Like, when the a and first hear that one sound, make them go like, oh, this is big, this is full. So you don't even need a lot of element, more like we'll make your main guy have a lot of cool layers so that it really fills the whole space. So that's number one. Number two, you got to add spice into your drums. So let's hear the drums. So it's not something crazy different, right? It's, it's sounding pretty relatively simple. But there are things here and there that is making this beat very different, very spicy. So let's just look at the kick and the snare. Pretty simple stuff. But what makes it different? Number one, I've added this um, ghost snare. So without the ghost snare, it sounds like this. Now with the ghost snare, pop. Tap, uh. Yeah, so I'm feeling more space, more rhythm, more groove with that uh, ghost snare. On top of that, I'm adding another ghost snare. L listen to this. See, I'm even layering my ghost snare sound with this. And with this. And there's sometimes they're playing together, but there's sometimes they're playing separately. So all sound has to be very intentional when it comes to making K-pop music. Um, not only that, listen to this. Ooh, you hear that? That's also a form of, of, of a ghost snare, actually. Yeah. So when you find some interesting sound, like almost like an ear candy type of drum, you want to really utilize those sounds to make your groove stand out more, uh, to make it more interesting, right? Uh, what about this? Listen to this. Did you hear that? Rah! So I'm using that at the end of my uh, bar, eight bar, eight bar here. Yeah. And my ghost, yes. And with my hi-hats. OK, 
Okay, what else did I do to make this beat interesting? I'm adding this sound here. Um, and and I put that sound exactly where I usually put like an ambient clap sound. For example, right here. Pa! I would have made it pop right there, right? But instead of using a clap sound, I'm like, what if I do something different? Some like some kind of hip hop element because this is you know 150, um, so it's like a hip hop type of rhythm right so I wanted to add like a chant sound instead of the clap sound so if I if you listen together yeah so those little things those are the difference makers uh, and you don't want to do too much because you know you can't give away uh, special things for too much okay so what did I say number one is to layer your sound Number two, add spice to your beat. Number three, this is a very interesting one. Have a theme in your song. Having a specific theme or concept in a song is very important because it creates an identity of your song, what this song is about. And a lot of times, because we have relied too much on the loops and the samples, we're not able to create something intentional with a unified story. So for example, in this song, <laughs> it's about taking a picture. And the, the idea behind this song was, I was actually picturing a tropical, island at a beach taking picture and you like see like coconut flying everywhere and you like watermelon watermelon is that a tropical thing but anyways like you know what i mean like i wanted to create that kind of tropical feel so how did i add that besides just saying it with my lyrics um i'm actually adding that throughout my uh track here Listen to my drums here when I start. You guys see where I am adding it? Look, if you just look at my snap sound. Isn't that an interesting sound? It's not just any kind of um, snap sound. I'm adding this now, this sound. And there's something about this sound. It made me feel like a... I'm cutting, I'm chopping like a wood, like a bamboo. It kind of had this tropical, authentic, organic, like I'm slicing a, a tropical um, fruit or something. Like it, That's just how it sounded. And I love that sound. And that I added, uh, I layered that sound with a regular snap sound, which is this. Yeah. Uh, what else did I do to make it into a theme? The most important fun element that I added into this song is this camera uh, sound here. Oh, so I'm literally adding a camera sound. I had to find it like for um, in the in my what is it splice and check this out. Ooh, that does a lot, doesn't it? Ooh, that, that, uh, okay, it, it, listen without it. You see how? You see how it's like so different? But with this camera sound, it just, ooh, it's creating a really interesting theme. And it doesn't have to be a lot, you know, you don't want to throw in a whole bunch of stuff in there, but just elements that are really needed, okay? So that's number uh, number two. Uh, number three, what I've added to make into a uh, th unified theme, I've even added this. It's like a synth. It's a bamboo synth sound. So together with everything, in the bamboo. <laughs> 
camera, bamboo. Yeah, those are the little tiny things that you don't know when you're hearing it. But actually, once you take it out, you're like, oh, it feels so different. It sounds so empty, right? So yeah. So let's recap. Number one, layer your sound. Make it really good, especially that main synth sound. Number two, spice your drums and make it flavorful. Add interesting elements to it. Number three, make it into a concept. Have an identity in the song. Uh, add sound and themes and lyrics in there to have a unified story. Yep. What do you guys think about the beat? I hope you all like it. I hope you learn from this um, tutorial. Guys, once again, in Umzig Music, the community of global aspiring global producers and top liners, we have an A&R and we have song challenges and we have a master class and we have live streams. We have so many fun things that are happening. So make sure you register. Uh, the, the, the link is in the description down below. I hope to see you guys there. But yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Peace out.